I have I'm, no idea. I'm putting my, my cash on Wizzy. But right here, I'm putting no cash on this no. because with Michael and Rick, who knows what could happen. Who knows? Uh, I think Michael has been tearing it through the loser side of the bracket today. Defeating uh, Rishi, 3-0. Then defeating K-Pan, 3-1. He has dropped one game on this run. And Top 100 next year? He lost no games at the National Arcadian. None. I think this guy's top 100 next Michael, year. My, Michael is a monster. Summer. Not even summer, dude. Yeah. Rick trying to put a hand. silence to that. Yeah, on the other hand, Rick's most famous clip from Full Bloom, at least that I remember, is last year his rest punish on Hungrybox. Insane and a very, very efficient. Yep. And speaking of efficient. That's the first stop to Michael. It? Yep. And here we go. Michael has no need to play anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the game has ended. The game has ended. It's over. Good Unt until it restarts, yeah. I think he's still interacting. He's going for the pounds. Yeah, he has to. Stage. Yeah, because yeah, staying on ledge isn't always safe. Yeah. Still not quite enough to kill from the right side of the stage. Rick going to need maybe 10, 20 more percent to get some guaranteed back air kills from anywhere. Ah. The strong there still not enough, even though it mixed up the DI, crossed up. Oh, oh boy. he got too tricky there. That's it. Too cute. That's it. Rick running to eat his Michael smiling. <laughs> Hey, there's always twitch.tv slash mail every day. Multi twitch.tv Multi slash mail every day, too. Watch it, watch it. There's amazing matches going on yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, Michael caught on the bottom of the stage. Oh, he'll be fine, though. Yeah, Rick not able to get anything done in that 169%. Oh, the F smash. <laughs> and that's that check we were talking about in the previous game that, that you have to put yep. out that forward smash occasionally. And I, w I wouldn't think that Michael would, would fall for things like that, but then again, he's, at his nature, he's just he's a puff main. He wants yeah. to go to ledge. I'm running out of jumps, I need to get to ledge. And he's a puff main who does not care about the like culture of melee. Melee is not no. A, <laughs> no. a lifestyle. Melee is a choice, and it, the, the decision is to win. It's like, have you been, like, have you ever heard the phrase, have you been living under a rock? Like, I actually think Michael has been living under a rock. You know what, though? Playing melee. Actually, I have forgotten Michael's lore. I have set up this narrative that Michael is Chicago and that Rick is Indiana. Michael got his start as number one in Purdue, as Michael 41 billion, the net play master from Indiana. Mm -hmm. This is Indiana versus Indiana. This Indiana work wins either way. Mm -hmm. Indiana does win either way at full bloom. So there's like triple Indiana win potential. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta, we need somebody to make it into the top uh, 17. Okay, Michael, Michael now playing again. He's, he's in the squabble. Yeah, still has a clear lead. He's up, yes, and um, Fox could die any second now. Ooh. Oh, the clanks, though. He's got to stop going for shoe grabs. Yeah, I like that he went for it, though. Yeah. At 100 that, or 89, uh, Puff's forward smash is actually, like, uh, has knockback growth that makes it comparable to Mark's forward smash right. his power. It's actually huge. In, in high it's percent. really good. And uh, Rick taking it up with what he knows best, up throw, up air. That's right. That's how you do it. And air, though, forcing the knockdown and the drill into grab. Yeah, it's really hard to Beautiful. avoid that, actually, is Fox. It has... There's so much huts done. Right. You get the perfect, like, DI and SDI. I think you can escape a lot of those setups, but even the best don't. Sure. You, go, you gotta really crank that SDI, though. You gotta crank it. You gotta crank it, you know what I'm saying. Gotta get those capacitors. Nice, okay. Rick trying to get some stuff on the knockdown. Thinks he needs to be a little bit more patient as we reset into neutral. Oh, back but he gets though. caught with a backer through the barrage of lasers. That's one of the hard yep. rules that you can learn from the best of this matchup. So, like, SFAT versus Hungrybox when he got that upset win. Uh, the big play as Fox is when Puff is facing you, that's when you put out the lasers because right. there isn't a hitbox that can truly challenge your pressure. But then when Puff is facing away from you, uh, you need to be much more careful. Sure. Get get under her, right? If she's high enough, get under her. Yeah. Or actually, yeah, it's the other way around. But when Puff is in front of you, it's like you can't do either because right. she's going to hit you. She's going to hit you. Yeah. If she's facing you, though, fire away. Yeah. But Rick is just approaching on these back airs. He's not afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it was impressive that Michael found the back air through the lasers. Anyways, game two. Getting lost in the sauce. Okay. Falling there, not strong enough, not at a high enough percent to avoid the shine. Correct. And just resetting neutral, though. Rick not even really going for a follow-up. I like that he catches that, like, uh, yeah. that roll with the shine. I think he needs to find more ways to make grabs come out for him rather than shine and at least put that pressure on Michael. Ooh, found, he's just, man, he found that hole real Ooh. quick. Just the, the one little chink in his armor. Yeah. Gets the nair, all this pressure into up smash. The arrow into Smog's underbelly. That's there right. Is, Michael the Dragon does have a weak spot. The Achilles heel legit. Okay, yep, drill, forward throw. 
Yeah, and then Michael excellent. catches him. Yep, yep. That is like textbook. Fall Falling fair is an incredible. It covers so much space. As far as spaces recoveries go, yeah, it removes a lot of options. So see there, Rick had the right game plan, but he wasn't really spatially aware of Michael. Where once Ooh. Michael was in within one drum drift's range, he should have stopped lasering. Mm -hmm. Like the laser game is done. You've done your job. You've made Michael approach you. Nice. Got to get that DI got, too. Yep, got to. And he missed the DI on a Ooh. grab earlier, but somehow Michael just went for an up air. But this time, nailing the rest. Yeah. Gratis. Man. Rick's no no respect here. No respect at all. Okay, maybe a little bit of respect. A little bit. Nice. Okay. But he knows he's close. Yep. Jab up smash. 50% for Michael. That's a decent spot to be at. And especially now that you know that your opponent is liable to miss the DI on your up throw. It happens to the best of us, but it's happening again. And it has happened before. It'll happen Yikes. again. A pound from off stage. Missed the attack, the drill, all of this damage. Yeah, it feels like Michael has a tool set he has well developed. These are shiny, shiny tools in the shed. He knows how to use them all so well. Oh, wow. Really good escape from that drill. Yeah. I thought that was for sure going to be a reset. Michael trying to get something on the board. Bring this closer to even as he sits at 133%. The one backer will be enough to set up an edge guard. Hey, Rick in a good uh -oh. position. Hey. Oh, not enough. Maybe, yeah, that was really, really close. But nice. that's enough. He keeps catching Michael coming off from the edge. Fearless. And Michael puts his hand through his hair. He doesn't need to be fearless. He's gotten it three times. True. This true. is now the way you this beat is Michael. The way. <laughs> this is the way. Oh, Michael almost gets no. it back, but Brick just kind of gets confused. Brick SDing. No. I think he thought he was going to die there. Give him the jelly legs and falling off. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's a good up tilt. The first neutral air we've seen. Neutral air is weird. I see back air. We just need we just need that grab. Oh, oh no. Ho. Okay, okay. Michael's found like three out of four of these pounds. Definitely. Yeah. Hasn't led to much after that though. Hey. Up throw the up throw up air will do 84%. it. 84%. Perfect. That's about that's about is the that, threshold. That, that must be that's yeah, like the threshold. One of the earliest uh -huh. ones. Michael shakes his head. I'm glad Rick put one on the board. That changes, I think, my opinion of the game because Absolutely. to me coming in, Rick, uh, Michael is kind of the like Arcadian Slayer. And in my head, you know, Rick is ranked now, but he's still kind of, there's the vestiges of that impression of him, the vestiges of your expectations. And it's good to see that, uh, you know, at least this is a close match and both of these guys are updating mm -hmm. our expectations for them in the future. Both of them have indeed great expectations. These are two. These are two up and comers that have yeah. consistently put their name in the conversation. Yeah. So we are witnessing perhaps the dawn of a new era. Yeah. The best of times and the worst of times. That was two Charles Dickens references. Yes. Let's go. Chat. I'm aware. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy percent on either of these guys. We're just kind of waiting for the big oh, commit. Oh, again! Every time. It's every time. Michael needs to do something about that. Michael, getting off the ledge has been struggling because he wants to do a hit because otherwise Michael will just keep sh shepherding him off. Okay, there we go. And the angle, nope. I mean, that's still fine. Mike, Michael has great kill setups. It's just that if you are consistently getting killed in the same spot, that's a that's a dangerous look. Oh, yeah. Because if you fix that, you know you can win because now the other guy doesn't has to invent a new kill option. But if you don't fix it, what do you got left? You've only got your punish game. You've only got your neutral. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't particularly been winning that versus Rick. No, not at all. Rick has actually has a fairly easy time piling on damage. Yeah. Michael like kind of just slips in when Rick uh, slips up. Nice. Okay, we're going to up smash again. No, no. Michael with the super early back air. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a cool interaction there. Oh. A lot of footsies. <laughs> See that pound there? If like Rick is a little bit more prepared, if he had done a perfect ledge dash, turned around immediately expecting something, oh. that's an up smash. Oh, hey, up smash anyways. Hey, and now Rick though is mixing when he runs to ledge sure. to catch Michael. He's doing things other than up smashing because now he's conditioned Michael to respect the up smash. So now he's even more options in front yeah, of him. Yeah, so Rick is even farther ahead of the game. Exactly. Now that has only netted him the one stock lead. Michael is by no means out of this. Not at all. One of the more clutch players. Yeah, yeah. Jigglypuff is just a, a, a clutch character in general. Yeah, when the spaghetti comes out, you can uh, be a little bit calmer with Jigglypuff. Yep. Simplify your gameplay. Exactly. And he can eat it up. Here we go. 
of course, good short. Hasn't happened all game. No reason for Michael to expect that. Oh, he goes deep and it gets it up air. That's it's a great way to recover that situation. Mm -hmm. It's always going to get out of that. That's one of my favorite things in Melee, when you know you messed up the, the initial execution, but so you, you can, still yeah. salvage something. You get the second best thing, yeah. or the third. It's still all right. Nice. All right. Michael evening it up. Two stocks apiece. And now Rick can go back to lasers and just smooth dash dancing, honestly. Yeah. Rick has looked smooth all weekend. Even the games he was Absolutely. losing, he didn't look too bad. Okay, oh. that's a good rest. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a bad look. That's a real rest. And up smash. We take it. We do. We take it. We absolutely Last do. Last stock here in game three. Rick and Michael looking for that advantage going in and away through the loser's bracket. Who's going to represent Indiana? Who's going to be one of those reps from the Midwest? Duck and Ginger still in it, of course. Absent page. Yep. I mean, this is a two of three, or a, a three of five. So yeah. we got we got some melee to play here. Oh man, that I think that up smash would have hit there if you went went for that ledge. Yeah. Oh, when he gets to the sour spot, not good enough. Michael floating back in with his hibiscus flower on his head. This looks like a solved problem. Now, Rick, if he makes a flub near the edge, obviously I think Michael has the capability to turn it around. He has many, Absolutely. many times. But it's the nature of Puff. Oh my god. But Michael coming back on stage has been... He baits some nasty stuff with that one. Has been rough. Has yeah, been rough. And you see, we, we give Fox a lot of crap for not DI'ing correctly on their up throw. Like, you could feel the same way about Puff's trying to recover from stage. Sure. You have one of the better recoveries in the game. If you can't find a way back past that wall... Yeah. How are you falling into an up smash if you have, like, five jumps? Yeah. But maybe Rick's a genius. Rick might be. A these are these are the feces that we will test throughout this year of melee in the summer of Smash. Hope you guys are enjoying the first like wing of that. Yeah, honestly, because here it is. I think we're see we're gonna see more of these two. Maybe thick Rick, but not in skull. No, not at all. Okay, is that the sign? Oh, oh that is it. That is it. That is a sign. That is most definitely the sign. That is Things to come, perhaps. Some kind of sign. The shape. Of this match is defined by things like that. Oh, okay. So now he's going back to it. Yeah. Michael is ready still. Again. Quick shout out to my favorite melee tournament name of all time. How about Shape it? of Melee to Come. That's beautiful. Yeah. Shout outs to Ornette Coleman, Pioneers of Jazz. Shape of Jazz to Come. Sure. That's where that phrase comes from. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh. Smash tags at ledge. That's the play. Homie, it worked the previous games. Let's see, if you, let's see if you can do it again. Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe? I, I kind of believe. Nice DI. I believe, but I also think Michael plays very differently from ahead than from behind. Mm -hmm. and, uh, You're right. And Rick had been executing that strategy from a lead, from a position of uh, power. Ooh. So he's going to need to work a little bit harder on this stock, but I think once he gets back into that position, I think he'll be able to let the, the smash decks rock on ledge. Yeah. Ah, it's risky if he's oh. down, though. If he was up, if he was up two stocks, I, that's all I would be doing. Kind of feeling it. Rick oh kind of moving. Mm -hmm. He's been pit pattering around this Jigglypuff. Definitely. Michael's staying relatively grounded. Oh my and god. Rick is definitely taking advantage Shines of this. Shines a Waveland, but it doesn't matter. We're Whoa! Oh, counter! But he doesn't get the sweet get the spot. Angle. He knew that he needed to get the ledge in oh. order to get the last shine. And in his greed, in that pot, what he a finds reversal. nothing. What a reversal. Reversal into reversal. Now Michael. Oh, whoa! Double spot touch. And the single, oh, oh my god! How clean was oh that? Oh my god! How clean was that, Jack? Give him the dashes. UCF. UCF. But Michael coming through with these pounds in neutral. Not able to turn him into uh, the rests quite yet. He's still got a really solid lead, and he's been playing well this game. It's tough to say if this is my, if this is a chance for Rick to come back. Oh, and the short. Wow, he the gets caught with that thing. extended hitbox. Yikes, that was not a good side beat. That one, though. Two stocks to Michael despite that cool play from Rick. Mm -hmm. We're going to game five. Game five here. Michael loving every second of it. He's like, damn, I love this game. Is Michael waking up? Is he, is he deep down is a man of the people? Is he woken up inside? <sighs> wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me Gotta up. wake up. Gotta wake up. <laughs> Can't All wake right. up. Rick and Michael, let's see if they can. They have woken up the crowd for sure. <laughs> they definitely along have. with our mainstream matches. I hope you guys in the audience are excited by this Puff Fox action. Game five here at Full Bloom. Who's going to be the Indiana rep going forward? We have Pokemon Sam and a crouch cancel. Down tilt. This is not working on a pound, apparently. That's okay. right. Oh, look at this combo from Michael. Back air into up air, and he keeps it going. Mm, nice. Oh, so wow. Good mix up right there. Dancing right? around the controls, but. Or the shield. Rick manages to find his way back on stage, and he's in a good spot. Can we get too. it. We yeah. Can. That's why we come here. We can. 
That's why we practice those. These are the moments that make us real. Jack. Retreats to the edge. And then just the rawest back airs. For sure. Just run into it. You might even get burned there. Mm -hmm. All right, second stock. Mm -hmm. Same as the first. Same. Reset. Yep. Reset even. Now it's just a now it's just three. It's just Rick staying safe under the platform, shooting them lasers. There's two men with three stocks. Wow. You just really like charge out of there with a, with a nair. That was really good TI by Rick to make us up the rest fall mm -hmm. and stuff. Not able to get a confirm off the drill a little too far away. So he just goes back to ledge and thinks about the good times in life. This is when the pressure of the match hits them, when the crowd starts screaming at them. Right. <laughs> Chicago loves it, Camp and Michael. Oh, the other, are they A-ing the, uh, oh, the yeah. ledge? Yeah, uh -huh. I knew figure, this day would come. They figure uh, if we must suffer, Michael, so must the world. So must the world. And lo. And Michael loves it. And that is how Michael got his fan base. <laughs> They're like getting louder every time, too. It's wonderful. Michael is the Stockholm Syndrome master. Right, right. He's, he's You're not, the thing we didn't know we needed. He's not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with him. That's right. Oh, man. Rick. Rick just forcing Michael to do something. Yeah, he's still got the lead, so he's not too uh, unchill about it, but it's definitely a mentality thing. Mm -hmm. Michael trying to oh. break him, but Rick, unbreakable oh, in this moment. what? That was the craziest hitbox of up air. Second hit. Oh, but a dash attack. He's got him off. And, then, and one more. That's yeah, it. Yeah, he goes deep. Oh, oh but he shot. him. He gets him with the shot. I'm not sure get back. I'm not sure get back. No, he makes it down. That is hell. It's oh Rick my God. banishing Michael to the Shadowlands. <laughs> Let's go. Here in last stock is Rick, the champion of Indiana, going forward, or is it going to be Michael, the Purdue University? Will Rick champion. be the spacey that will block Michael's advancement to this tournament? It's going to be crazy. It's it going to be something here. else. Michael trying to fish for these up airs. He's looking good, too. He's looking these off stage good. situations, both of the guys putting everything on the table. Up and up Rick air, goes that's up it. and that's out. It. Rick that's advances. It. What a magnificent set from those two. Such great adaptation, great puff, Fox play. Rick, like he just looking like nothing just happened. God, the stress, that level, your heart, right? Yes, and now Rick will face, uh, let's see who's side of the bracket. He I will mean, face the winner cool of Lod and Absent Page. Ooh, either way, We're in the same melee. melee. Pew Pew, really Swedish Delight, Duck, potentially 